Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we'll be looking at the first of a line of my favorite ships. This was suggested in the comments a while ago and I really like the idea. So I'll be talking about ships that I really really enjoy playing and why I do so. And if I haven't actually done a review then uh, we'll just include that as we go. Which is what we're going to do with the first one because this, my friends, is The Sims. The American Tier 7 Premium Destroyer. Now, I actually didn't buy The Sims. I got her, I got her in an event quite a while ago. And it, it took me a while to, you know, to get used to her. But um, this ship is one of my absolute favorite murder machines. Let's have a quick look why that is. So, on Tier 7, she's got uh, 14,550 hit points almost. She got uh, relatively decent armor. She's an American Destroyer. They're quite sturdy. She is quick, 39 knots uh, um, on at a max speed, and a 7 second time to full speed, a 3 second turn time. This thing is quick as hell and maneuverable. The guns are amazing. She's got 427mm guns, that's relatively low count for, for this tier, but they have a almost 3 second reload. They've got an 8 kilometer range, they do a really decent amount of high explosive damage, and they look at the turret rotation. They've got a 25 degrees per second turret traverse speed. We'll compare that in a minute. In terms of torpedoes, she only has uh, two, qu uh, two quad launchers, so eight torpedoes, on a 50 second reload, which is quite good. But he has a these torpedoes have a very good range for this tier of 7.8 kilometers. She has a decent anti-aircraft armament, actually. And her surface detection with 5.6 is pretty good as well. Of course, uh, I've got the uh, on this one. I've got actually the historical camo, just because I love this ship so much. I, I invested the money to to get the historical camo. So for the elite bonus for this ship, I've gone with the elite gun operator just because I love these guns. So this gets the main battery reload time down and the traverse speed up. You could have the same for the torpedoes. But uh, this is a gunboat. She is a brawler. <laughs> this is absolutely my style. The camo. Let's have a quick look what this gives us. Uh, increases the main battery firing range, increases the torpedo range a little bit. Increases the ship's traverse speed, reduces the surface detection. So all good things that you really want to have. Now, before we get into the equipment and everything, uh, in terms of comparison, right? So let's, let's compare her. Uh, to the tier 8 American destroyer, the Benson. The Benson has slightly better armor, very slightly. The Benson is slower than the Sims, but has has the same excellent engines and, and, uh, and turn time. She has very, very good guns, 24 degrees turret traverse speed, uh, five guns actually, and she gets uh, twin quintuple launchers of torpedoes, but only with a 6.9 kilometer range. But still, that's a good range. Uh, Air, AA is pretty good as well, and surface detection with six uh, with about six kilometers isn't terrible. So you've got, with a little bit of work, you've got, uh, you've, you've, you can stealth fire with this thing. But this is a tier eight, and this is a very, very good tier eight destroyer, in my opinion. The Sims is a tier seven. The Benson gets the engine accelerator one, three, uh, three loads, two smoke, and two air defense alert one. Let's get back to the Sims, shall we? The Sims gets two engine accelerator one, two tier two smoke generators, and three tier two air defense alerts. This is, for all intents and purposes, a tier seven Benson. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I, I would argue that she's a little bit overpowered. <laughs> I would actually argue that. So in terms of equipment, what have I put in her? I actually have the main battery modification. I usually don't do this on really rapidly reloading guns, but first of all, I really love these guns. Also, there's only four of them, and there's nothing else I could sensibly do. If the turrets turn so quickly, there's really no need for, for the turret traverse. Uh, the torpedo traverse is fine as well, as it is. And uh, secondary battery range doesn't make much sense on a, on a destroyer. So, meh, I'll, I'll just wait with that. Uh, at the second step, she's got the propulsion mod because I like my, this is for me. This is a brawling destroyer. This is a close range. This is a 
can do anything destroyer but i really like to play her aggressively so being able to just slam the brakes on and stop if i need to or um, speed up again if i need to is a great thing and for the uh for the third one i've got the propulsion mod not the not the not the concealment system and again for a reason her concealment is already great that i can stealth fire torpedoes without any problems whatsoever again let's get back to the torpedoes we have we have two quad launchers 7.8 kilometer range she has a much better range than the benson at tier 8 and she only has a 5.6 kilometer surface detection so i already have over two kilometer uh, two kilometer margin between my surface detection and the torpedo range i can totally stealth fire torpedoes in this ship if i want to so i can be a very very fast very stealthy ship or i can be a close range uh, uh, fa rapid firing gun mode if I want to. In terms of supplies, there's no, no surprise really. It's my standard set with high grade coal for surface detection, uh, reload time for crew rations, and ship speed. That's that. My commander, he's been on the Sims for quite a bit, as you can tell. <laughs> Uh, first two tiers, no surprises here. The torpedo skills, preheating, because I really want to get get a running start in this thing. The I haven't gone with the air defense expert just because of, you're in tier seven. You don't have that much AA even with the air defense uh, air defense alert, and you don't you don't play you don't play against carriers that often. Could have done it. Decided to go with victorious charge just because. I, I prefer it this way. Uh, survivalist uh, to get a little bit more HP recovered because I tend to get shot at quite a bit in this ship because just because of the way I play it. It's it would be absolutely it would be absolutely uh, legit to go for say Daredevil and the air defense expert if you want to play slightly differently. In the sixth tier, I have the generalists because. Uh, Exploit weakness doesn't make that much sense because you know then you have that all much all much damage and uh, you're most likely not going to hit your torpedoes on ships that are already flooding or on fire. It doesn't happen all that often, so I think this is more useful. Uh, fully prepared for the repair kit cooldown time, and again, un, uh, probably uncommon and popular choice. I have not gone with the mist weaver because yes, it gives you better smoke. But I tend not to sit in my smoke because, well, A, sitting in smokes is kind of boring. You just sit in there. I use my smokes more for um, more for disengaging if I need to or just short-term periods when I'm, when I'm unloading my guns until my torpedoes are back. So I actually have the adrenaline, adrenaline rush skill on the ship. Again, this is for my playstyle. So for somebody who plays a bit, would play The Sims a lot more conservatively than I do, it would be totally legit to use uh, air defense expert Mistweaver, and say um, uh, say Daredevil for example, or or any of the other skills. So for me, that's the way I've set up the captain. But this is by no means the correct or only setup. This is really just geared towards the way I am playing the Sims. So one of my favorite ships. Let's give her a try and I'll show you why I like this ship so, so much. Alright, Gneisenau, Nagato, New Mexico. What's a New Mexico doing in... Oh, this is a tier 7 battle. Okay. Uh, two Helenas. Ugh. <laughs> I... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we're Golden Channel, so this is interesting life for destroyers in here. Uh, probably not going to go through the middle, to be honest. Not with two Helenas in game. These things look... So, sound like they can make short work of me. So let's just rush ahead. Uh, see that we can see that we can get the cap, and then big steps out there to the flank. And let's see what our team's up to. Okay, 44.4 knots. That's the speed we can make on uh, preheating and with a speed boost. So getting off the start and getting into the cap. You're still one of the really, really fast destroyers around here. Okay, cup's ours. Enemy oh, enemy destroyer in the cup. What do we have on the enemy team? Oh, there's another Sims. Yeah, okay, he's about as fast as I am. 
So let's see where he's going and if we can spot them. Maybe we can dom we can grab the cap since we're here. And what do we have here? New Orleans and an Indy. Okay, he dropped his torps. So he's probably over there. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Dropped his torps, so it's relatively harmless at this point. We can just get some fire out on him. Uh, what? That wasn't the Sims torps, that was something else. Is he in there still, or does he disengage? No, he's in there still. Right. Okay, let's get torps out then. Uh, get out of here and open fire on the bookie on the other side. Don't know if the Sims is still going to be in there. Where is he? Probably moved on. Let's see. Nope, we got. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, as Jingles would say, smoke screens are torpedo magnets. Okay, nope, I do not want to be shot at by a cruiser. Not by one of these Helena things. Uh, let me get out of here, get around the side, and speed up. Yeah, smoke screens are torpedo magnets. <laughs> you can shoot torpedoes out, but you can also shoot torpedoes in. Okay, um, that was that. Torpedoes are back on reload. Still have our two smokes. Let's see that we grab the cap. Our team the area. And everything seems to be concentrating on the other direction here. Where is that New Mexico going? Is he just poking his nose out here? Let's assume that he might be. And just get around and see if he is or not. Otherwise we'll just pop our smoke and start laying some fire on here on the other side. Oh, who's coming with me on the flank? Fuso, very good, very good. Hello, it's me, and I've got the good news. You're outflanked. <laughs> okay, might as well use my smoke at this point. I'm not sure if I'm too close to proximity detection, but... Uh, Okay, now we got a fire. Torpedoes are always back, almost back up. Enemy team captured the area. Torps out. And that is the end of that battleship. Yeah, outflanked battleships are not the greatest thing. Okay, let's grab the cap back. Uh, what do we got there? Helena, Nagato. All manner of things that I do not wish to be seen by, but since I'm spotted anyway, um, Helena, you look uh, cruisery. Can we get the unit fire while well, I'm buggering off of here. Actually, I don't want to bugger off too far. Yes, maybe I can get some torps away at that Gneisenau now over there. Or the nugget, though, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I get you people. I'm gone. Bye bye. Oh, -hoo -hoo -hoo, that hurt. What was that? Is somebody firing high explosive at me. Okay, okay. Time to get out of here. <laughs> but we got the Gneis now for our troubles. Okay. Uh. Oh dear. Okay, give me my torpedoes back. Is under control. Um, let's get back into concealment. Although, not Helena. Nope. Reversing. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, someone kill that thing. Yes, good job. That leaves only the Nagato. Are you coming out? Well, my torpedoes aren't ready. Okay. Yeah, Helena, dangerous. Um, which way is he going? He's going forward. So uh, let's just get casually get the torpedoes out this way. 
Let's do it ready. And then pop our smoke, because we don't have much health left. Just sit here. Oh, we've still got a fire. Probably not. Oh, battle's a battle's a battle. We're not gonna get him anymore. So just fire. Let's get some fires out. Yep. Okay. That's the Sims. <laughs> One of my favorite ships, and she's just so much fun. Uh, because you can YOLO in this ship relatively successfully. You've got smoke screen. You've got pretty good guns. Um, it's an absolute troll ship. <laughs> I mean, look at this. We did uh, 63,000 damage, 22 torpedo hits, and um, still 13,000 with the main batteries. So you can totally do some damage with these things as well. Uh, okay, let's do another one. And um, I'll try to play a bit sneakier. And uh, just to show, show, you, show you a little bit of different playstyle. L let's see how this works. <laughs> if it doesn't, then we'll just go for it. But uh, let's try that. Okay, bottom tier, a <laughs> turpits, but lo look at this, look how... <laughs> Six battleships, southern archipelago. Okay, let's try to be stealthy, shall we? And uh, let's see what we can do against six battleships in southern archipelago. Uh, a couple of fast ones in there, so... Maybe we head out to the Outwards Island. And see what we can do from there. Although, they probably, there's three Gneisenhaus in there. Three Gneisenhaus and a Turpitz. Okay. Uh, quick battleships. So we shouldn't be ex able to expect to just capture A. We're probably gonna head over... We should see them a long time before they see us. Okay, the DD is in C. That's good, because that's not where I am. So I don't have to deal with him. So let's try and stay undetected. And see where the battleships go. Okay, that's the first one. Let's go and be careful. And just stay undetected if we can. I mean, they know that I'm here probably. Or that at least one of the destroyers is here. So, let's turn around. And see where these battleships are going. Patience is a virtue here. Uh, Turpitz is going in a straight line. So he's going to be our first customer. That's maximum range, but he's heading straight against the torpedo run, so we're lucky. We get him. Okay, let's get into the cover here. And that should be a good hit. Yep, there we go. Six torpedo hits. Let's just drop smoke here. And see if the Gneiser now wants to come out and play. Are you gonna come out and play? Where is he going? You can use the torpedo indicator to see where they're going. Which way are you looking? Are you coming out? Where is he? Oh, he's running. Okay, hello. Well, we'll be a bit careful because we're in top range of him. Set him on fire. He seems to be preoccupied. That should do it in case it turns out. Okay, we're in range of his secondaries. That's the auto secondaries. And there come our torpedoes. And that's our second battleship down. Okay, let's grab that cap. Are we the only ones who... Oh no, somebody else killed the torpedoes. Okay, good. Oh, so I was the only one killing anything here. That many battleships out there. Okay, we should be getting unspotted as soon as... Okay, that Amagi is dead. Let's, let's just head over here. Get that capture point, because we're down on caps. 
So we have two but three battleships out here, which is a bit overkill. So let's see if we can head down there. Uh, but um, it looks like our team's got this pretty well under control. So yeah, this is what you can do as well with um, with the Sims. While we're having a bit of a lull here, and while we're making our way down the other way, um, you can do that with uh, the Sims as well. You can play kind of like a Japanese destroyer. I mean, you don't have the torpedo power, but you can stay just out of uh, just out of detection range, and um, you have a very good detection range, and you have a very good torpedo range. So <laughs> you have absolutely no no problem sending torpedoes out from from a really long distance. Okay, let's see if we can still get some action here. Otherwise, I'm going to cut this video a bit short. But if it's just uh, if it's just um, me driving around in the in the ocean, what is this there? What destroyer is this? Oh, it's a Benson. Okay. Um, well, let's just rush the Benson. Oh, the Benson killed somebody. Let's see if we can get the kill on the Benson. Hello. Okay, where are you going, Mr. Benson? Are you going this way? Or are you going that way? Uh, does it matter? Because I've got guns. Probably doesn't. Okay, turn around. Here come the Benson Torps. Let's make sure we dodge these. Uh, we take one, that's fine. But Benson's dead. Benson killed. Come on, die, Benson, will you? There we go. And uh, Mr. Colorado, I've got some torps for you. Just in case. Smoke up. The torps still range? I'm not sure. Ten seconds. Oh, we might not need the torps. Six. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, well done everybody. So yeah, this is this is also something you can do you can do with um, with the Sims. And uh, as you've seen, you, you can you you can slam the brakes on in this thing really hard once you realize somebody's been sending torpedoes your way and dodge well most of them. I had enough health to take one. I think you may have gotten a feeling for why I love this ship, just because you can be absolutely ridiculously reckless in it. You can uh, you can do great great things in this little destroyer. And um, to be to, to be completely fair, she's a little bit overpowered for tier seven. She's one of the more overpowered pre premium ships. Excuse me. So uh, I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. She's one of my favorite ships. And I will continue at some point to show you some more of my favorite chips and just why I like them and why I think they are absolutely amazing. Next week, I will be on holiday. But that doesn't mean that you're not getting a video. I'll, I'll, I'll upload something. Uh, just a fair warning, it's going to be an age-restricted one, which is not usual for my videos, but that's going to be next week. And I'll see what you all think about that when I get back from holiday. So... Uh, until then, I'll see you all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.